Smelly stuff video. Oh, uh, definitely smelly stoof. Smelly stoof. Smelly stoof. Smelly stoof. Um, this is we have the uh, fortune cookie soap box for winter. Um, the theme of this is through the wardrobe, which uh -huh. it's kind of like a Narnia. Theme thing. It was funny because when we got this, um, we got this before we went on vacation, and for some reason they decided to move the launch party up a week. So I didn't get this box until like, oh, and then my box got delayed for like five days. So I didn't actually get this box until like two days after it had already launched. And usually I have it for at least a week or two before it launches. I don't know. So um, I think that the scents that we have listed will be on the site as of now. Whether they're available or sold out, I can't tell you. I haven't even really looked. Um, but we went on our vacation, so we have briefly smelled these, but we haven't really yeah. done a lot with it. So it's kind of going to be like a first impressions on our side as well. And it's been kind of some time before since we sniffed it last. So. Exactly. So um, I will tell you, of course, that this box is a quarterly box. They do have other one-off boxes like the Hocus Pocus themed one that we got earlier. Um, but there are, it is every quarter, every three months, it's $25. And you also get $10 to use in their store for anything you want. So it is a really great value. I always go on there. My favorite things I like getting from them are the whipped creams. Um, but I'll, you know, I'll try, I'll try whatever. Just about anything. Um, so it comes with this really nice card that tells you the scents. And as always, Marshall will be uh, showing and sniffing while I read off the box because it's always a little like clever the mm. way they do it. First so. we have the hand sanitizer, always winter. Always winter, which is if, if we can compare what it belongs to in the movie, um, because the Snow Queen is taking over Narnia, it is always winter, but never Christmas. And so Santa never comes. It's really sad. And there's a lot of snow. It, it has a very light citrus on there. I All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let me read the card. Always winter, but never Christmas for those germs. The OCD hand sanitizer will keep the germs frozen away with the holiday notes of evergreen, fir needles, warm cinnamon, crisp cranberries, apple curls, and cedar wood. Okay. Now okay. my problem with these always is that I feel like there's an overwhelming alcohol scent. In this one, it's not as bad. Ooh, up your nose. <laughs> You don't want winter. Up no, I mean, it's a good scent. I don't really like the sandalwood too much, but it's good. There is an overwhelming amount of glitter in this. I don't even know if you can see it because it's catching the light, but yeah, it's good. Um, I, I like it. It's not bad, but you know, bad. we in our house don't usually use hand sanitizers for reasons that I will tell you later. Um, so a lot of times those get thrown into whatever giveaways we're doing. Yeah. So you can enjoy that. That's right. This is the Father Christmas whipped cream. And whipped cream is always my favorite thing pretty much in the box. Father Christmas, he's come at last. The witch may have kept him out for a long time, but our whipped cream has come at long last with a chilly blast of winter air blowing through blue juniper brush, dusted with frosty snow and hints of iced vanilla cookies. It's not just a hint. Those iced vanilla cookies, they'll it's, keep me going. It is. It's a lot of vanilla cookies. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do like this. This is really good. It's not my favorite whipped cream ever. My favorite is Jelly of the Month Club from like two years mm -hmm. ago, National Lampoons, which I'm just now finishing because I have it in my desk at work. It's good stuff. Oh, though. it is good. Yeah. It is really good. I like it. Okay. It might not be my favorite scent in this box, I don't think, but I do like it. No. So then we've got Sweeties, the actual fortune cookie soap. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think this is referring to the Turkish Delight. Let's read. Don't even try to resist the candied sweetness of Turkish delight with this fortune cookie soap. Scented with traditional rose water and toasted pistachios, amaretto, and warm buttery cookies, it will leave you asking the witch for more. Just remember, a little goes a long way. Yep. I mean, it kind of looks like the Turkish delight, like in the movie, um, where it has like a powdered sugar outer or it even could be like a cornstarch. I'm not exactly sure what is on Turkish Delight, but then it has this like jelly inside. The the Turkish mm. Delights are a form of jellied preserve that, uh, that is kind of a small... Uh, that's funny. Yeah. 
and then they're they're completely covered in powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. So much so that you don't want to breathe in when you are taking a bite of one. No. It says winter's not all bad. There's always hot baths and fortune cookie soap. Um, no, it smells good. I think the uh, the rose water is a little strong for me, but it, it does smell really good. Yeah. Okay. We got Dream of a Dream Dusting Powder. Step out of the shower and into a new world with our brand new dusting powder. A comforting and soothing blend of lavender, vanilla, soft musk, and patchouli will brush your skin with the softest, softness of pleasant dreams. Microfine powders and clay absorb sweat and smooth your skin, while the essential oils keep you feeling fresh all day. Um, so two things in this I cannot have is lavender and patchouli, because both of them give me a little bit of a weird allergy reaction. I can smell a little bit more patchouli. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't smell as much of the lavender, um, if you want to do it. <laughs> yeah, it smells a lot like baking powder, though. It's a cute little little thing. I just don't know if it's for me. Uh, what do you think about it? It's okay. I'm, I don't know if it's something that I'd actually use mm. personally, but uh, it's not the most horrible of smells. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's probably not like it's my least favorite so far out of the ones in the box. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. I like the look of this. It's the lion's breath. This is a perfume, perfume oil. And honestly, I tried this before and I really like it. This is what it says. Wrong will be right when this perfume oil comes in sight. Be rejuvenated by the true king himself with fresh and invigorating scents of glistening winter frost and fir needles, dripping with the, silk, the sweet nectar of ripened pomegranates. Your senses will feel alive again as every last drop of the perfume oil graces your skin. No, not me. Fine. <laughs> No, I like it a lot. It's a really good smell. You get a lot more of the pomegranate. Mm, that's why I um, like it. Which is, it's really good. And I just love the look of it. These little uh, berries that are just kind of floating in there. I like this good. one. This is probably one of my favorite ones so far. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hide and seek whipped soup. One, two, three, four, five. Are you hiding yet or seeking marshmallowy soft whipped soap? Chase after the scent of decadent blends of dark chocolate covered espresso beans, allspice, and a light coconut cream. Who said anyone was too old for a game of hide and seek? Whip to fluffy perfection, use our whipped soap as a shaving cream or an all over body wash. The espresso beans and the, uh, what was the other Ooh. part? Yeah, the cream. Coconut oil, yeah. The, yeah, the coconut oil cream. That was ve that's very strong in this, mm. and it's good. This is really good. Oh, this is really good. I, I, I really like the chocolate covered espresso beans. Mm, that's yeah, awesome. That's, okay, that's I like nice that. Stuff. I like that. Two yeah. more to go. Yeah. How about some deep magic shampoo bar? There is a magic deeper still that goes back before the dawn of time. This shampoo bar will restore your hair to life with a revitalizing blend of rosemary, fresh garden herbs, and revitalizing mint. Even the witch's magic couldn't keep those dead ends dead for good. I'm not sure if you're going to like this, but I do. Uh, you can, uh, especially Ooh. after the second, okay, you did good. I do. I don't know if I would use it, but I really like, there's kind of like a minty. Yeah, the mint comes in after the rosemary. Yeah, and I don't think the rosemary is very potent. No. I, it's very more mint, and I love mint in everything. This would be great to use in the shower just to kind of like wake you up, I think. Yeah, it'd be really good for Ooh, that. It's really good. Yeah. Their shampoo bars are a little weird for me. It's... Harder for me to use it because it's in a bar form, but I do try it and then I just really condition my hair. Okay, lastly, we have the Small Favors uh, Petty Balm. Yeah, so you can have a little mini, mini pedicure. It doesn't take a lot to unwind and relax. Only warm honey with a hint of the professor's tobacco pipe, brightened by spiced citrus slices. This Petty Balm will have you thankful for small favors. I was kind of concerned when I first heard that there was a tobacco smell in there, but it's not bad. It, it it's gives not. it a nice little bit of a woody smell to mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm, um, yeah. But you really, it's it's pleasant. It's calming. It is. It is. Like, I don't know if it's for me, but it might be for you guys, for sure. I'm looking for, you know, there's always like a small thing. And in this one, we get a bow. Yay, bow. I'm not really sure how that works in this box, but it's cute. All right, now is the time where we pick the one we like the best. 
Hmm. Okay. I'm kind of between these two. Well, I'm gonna go with the. Ooh, I'm gonna go with the hide and seek uh, whip soap. Mm -hmm. But I also really do like the lion's breath. I really think yeah. they did a good job with this box. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing that we're all kind of like, a hey, what it is the dusting this powder. powder. Yeah. Um, but everything else smells really good. Mm -hmm. um, they're good solid sizes too, just like fortune cookie soap always does. Exactly. So um, I, I think it's really worth the money. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely recommend you guys like every time, like even if there's stuff that I don't necessarily like in here, um, I. I love getting these boxes. They they have just such a wide range of scents and products that you can use. So I definitely recommend. I will leave the link down below if you're interested in ordering. Um, but yeah, yay. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I feel like the holidays are finally coming full swing, especially when we get these boxes. Yeah. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much for uh, sticking around in our channel. And until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.